Hey, how's it going folks? Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. I apologize. It's been a while since I uploaded to the channel, but there's been a lot going on lately at Drone Deer Recovery and also New Way Ag. New Way Ag, if you guys aren't familiar with, it is spray drones. Yeah, we do spray drones, we do drone trailers, we do a lot of different things. But I wanna bring you guys up to speed where we're at with Drone Deer Recovery and uh, just kind of give you a tour. I'm gonna show you the new place. I'm gonna kind of just show you how much this thing has grown. And for the ones that have not been around here and this is the very first time that you're here at Drone Deer Recovery or if this is your very first time watching a Drone Deer Recovery video, I'll kind of tell you a little bit about how this got started. I started this company out of my little Ford Focus car Car. I had a thermal drone and I wanted to help hunters find lost game really is what it was and so I started that started video on it started putting it on YouTube and it absolutely went nuts I think it was uh, basically in the first three months had over six million views on YouTube and it's just been gone crazy since I started it as a service but then also run it to provide content to encourage other people to do the same thing in their state really this video is to bring you up to speed what Drone Deer Recovery is doing, where we've moved to. Obviously, you can see this behind me. This is our building where we're in now. All these vehicles are people that are working for Drone Deer Recovery in New Way Ag. Hey guys, I wanna let you know, I'm going to be giving away an M4T Elite Drone Deer Recovery Kit. Really easy to enter. Every dollar you spend on the Drone Deer Recovery website will get you an entry in to win. So go to the website to see the full details how you could win the Elite Drone Deer Recovery Kit. I'm gonna take you through here and yeah, just kinda show you what's going on. I do wanna let you know, for people that aren't watching the news or aren't on Facebook and stuff like that, following along we are helping other states push new legislation new bills to allow drone deer recovery in those states illinois has a bill that's been introduced it's not been passed yet west virginia passed their bill to allow drone deer recovery to be legal in West Virginia, which is great. Now it's not signed yet. It is laying on the governor's desk. That needs to be signed and should go in effect by July 1st. So that's really good for the 2025 hunting season in West Virginia. There's a few others that we're working on stuff. There's not a lot of update on that. I am trying to follow along. I appreciate people that do reach out to me and give me updates because it's hard to follow every state. Say you're in um, Oklahoma and there's a bill that is being introduced. If you want to DM me and let me know, that'd be good so I can update you know everybody that wants to do drone deer recovery in Oklahoma. I really appreciate you guys reaching out to me to let me know about those bills, but that's one update is West Virginia is now going to allow drone deer recovery, which it should, right? This put this equipment in the right hands, it can be used for good. Another thing is on the more like news type updates and stuff, we are starting a new show. It's called the Drone On Show. The Drone On Show is basically like a podcast where we are in studio and we're talking more of a long form. It'll be anything from interviewing pilots that are getting into the drone industry. It might be thermal pilots, spray drone pilots. It might be power washing drone pilots, anything drones. That's what we call the, the drone on show. We wanna showcase anything that has to do with drones in an industry. So if you guys want to make sure to go over to that new YouTube channel called the drone on show and hit that subscribe. And that show is going to be on all platforms. So whatever platform you like to listen to podcasts and stuff, it's going to be on those platforms. So I went through my first season doing thermal drones and I really wanted to figure out how I can make a more sustainable business being into drones full time and then figured out there's spray drones, drones that are used to spray crop fields all across the country. And so I got a spray drone, tested it out. And because of my social media reach, a guy in Indiana had reached out to me that was helicopter pilot and gave me an awesome opportunity to come out there and spray thousands of acres my very first season season with spray drones and that really helped me catapult me into where we're at now that is new way ag we started new way ag and what it is is we sell spray drones we coach people how to have their own spray drone business now we manufacture these trailers after going through my first season doing spraying i figured out that 
trailer setup that I had wasn't efficient, and so I came up with this trailer design. Basically, it has your tanks in the bottom, has a flight deck up top to fly your drones off the top, and you can see how many trailers are here. All these trailers are already sold to people all across the country starting their own spray drone business. And so it's grown a lot. It's been amazing. That whole industry I'm excited about just as much as I am with thermal drones because thermal drones are helping people not only start a business, but helping other people maybe find lost pets, search and rescue. There's guys getting into search and rescue a lot with the thermal drones. Yeah, it's been really, really good. And I appreciate the support that you guys have given me at Drone Deer Recovery because you made this whole thing new way ag possible by the support that you guys have given me. I'm gonna show you guys this building real quick. I basically wanted to show you guys my appreciation, what you've done for me. Literally, you've changed my life at Drone Deer Recovery. I know I've said that a couple times on videos, but it really means a lot. This is where the headquarters is of Drone Deer Recovery. We, obviously the back end is more of a warehouse where there's parts, drones, and then up in here are offices, but all of these vehicles either are for employees or there might be guys here getting coaching for their drones right now. It's been big. I'm not gonna take you inside the building because there's employees working in there and uh, they're working on stuff and I don't wanna catch them off guard with the camera. There you go. That's an update of what's going on here at Drone Day Recovery. I apologize that I haven't been uploading consistently. It's just, we're really busy this time of year with New Way Ag doing our own application. So we're going out, we're spraying fields and and then, you know, selling the equipment and getting other entrepreneurs set up with their own equipment. So it's been really, really busy, but a lot of good things happening at Drone Deer Recovery. I know a lot of people are reaching out. They want to get drones. You want to get thermal drones, any drone right now, any DJI drone trying to get into the country is very, very difficult to get into the country. I am doing my very best on trying to keep drones in stock, but because of you guys' support, yeah, I'm selling a bunch. So it's hard to keep them in stock. That being said, if you want a thermal drone, make sure to reach out to the sales team and get on the list. There's so many people that are on the list that when I get you know a truckload in, they're gone in like a couple days. So if you want a thermal drone, make sure to call the team, get on the list, and then the spray drones, it's the same way. That's about all we got, obviously. On that, I'll, I'll just give you a little bit. If you've been watching the news at all, prices on these drones are just, it's this way, that way. Who knows which way it's going from week to week because of all the tariff action that's been happening from uh, Trump. We will try to give you the most honest, best price at the time, but do know that things change a lot from week to week right now with all the tariffs. It has affected how things come in and out of the warehouse because sometimes, you know, a tariff gets increased or decreased and it's like, wait, we spent more on the actual product than what you're wanting us to sell. And so it, it can be difficult to do that. I never thought when I started the company that these are some of the challenges that we would have is just try to figure out how do we keep enough product in stock and then just managing tariffs, managing business stuff. You know, I never know what I'm gonna get into from week to week, but it's fun. That's all I got for you guys on today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one.